welcome back to the the Chris series on the channel where we just work on Chris's car only. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sponsored by Dimitri. All right. So you picked up. A dirty, but... Picked up this carbon fiber and we're. Where do you get this from? Endless RPMs. Endless RPMs. And yeah. what's one is this one called? The duck lip. The we're duck lip. Though. So this one's the duck lip. It's like more flatter, but it pokes out. Pretty cool. Stunny on Bob. I'm good, right? Okay. Yeah. I see where they steamed it though, right here. It's pretty cool. All right. So it has no double-sided tape. Why? I didn't want to buy off them because I thought it was more pricey. So I said. Was it more pricey? I I don't know the prices on tape, but I feel like it is. I, like another thirty bucks. Is that what they said? Well, when I put the the thirty pound tape, it was like thirty more dollars, I think. Oh, I see. Well, he got his for what, 15 bucks, 20 bucks? It was eight. Oh, eight bucks at AutoZone or O'Reilly's? We're just gonna slap it on here. Yeah, show you guys how it looks. Before, it's night time right now. And get the after right now. Before we put on the little chunk lip. This is called the glosser. So he removes everything, dirt and all that. Any wax grease. I'll send the link in here. He puts it put in the pressure washer, but I just water it down in the water, a uh, little spray bottle. And he uses this before I paint and all that, so it works for everything. Spray it on there and here. This thing weighs like nothing. Literally weighs nothing. Here's a close up of the carbon. I think this little bottle Weighs more than this thing. Let's see, it does. All right, so this is the whole roll of tape. So we did one long one, and this one, whatever tape we have left. Uh, usually, I'll take it off the corners and put it on, then take it off. But this one fits so perfect. We we're just gonna take off all the tape and just place it right on. Baller stainless status. All right, this is answer. I have him send me some daytime photos. Unless you go. I don't think I come back tomorrow for anything. Oh, that ends perfect. We're right at the gap. On this side, too. Not hard to see. Right on the gap. package here from uh, Hilltoe Automotive. I'll let the link for them. They have a bunch of support for the Acura TL, just like endless RPMs. Put both their links in the description. Uh, this one is an ATLP three-piece trunk lip. So not really too much really runs these. I think they just really know too much about them or they don't really see them too much. So you can't really ask what are they, but yeah. Go ahead and open this up. the piece right here if you want to um read it it says fiberglass fpr parts are really carbon fiber we just left the carbon exposed under on the other side it is not decorative carbon layup though they are kind of ugly so primer them with black primer blah 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 fiberglass fp frp parts are meant to be a quality issue we have supplied and in some cases pre-applied specific 3M BHB tape for best insulation. They have a YouTube video, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna read all of it. But yeah, that's that. Maybe there's some cool stickers inside or something. Never mind, stickers are right here actually, which is pretty dope actually. I like these stickers. Hilltoe Automotive. We got uh, another Hilltoe sticker in the back. Let me open these up and show you guys the cool stickers it comes with. 
And these are the cool stickers. So you got the basic Hilto Automotive with a little Hilto, I don't know if that was a logo or what. Uh, a bigger version of that same one. And then you got the ATLP in black and ATLP in white, just because I got the ATLP part. Cool. Now for the, the main piece, let's go ahead and get this guy opened up. Let me do that real quick and I'll be back. All right. So we got it all opened up out of the packaging. I thought the finish would be a little bit worse, but actually it's pretty good. Um, we call these the scuff and spray scuffed out to quick black primer and let's be ready to shoot. Got some like little imperfections that should be able to be sanded out if anything. But yeah, that's good. We got the end pieces. So this is why it's a three piece. You got your main trunk lip. And then you got your end pieces that connect onto the tail light section that doesn't move. It'd be like something like this. This is how it'll look. Uh, and you got your other one right here. Uh, let me see if I can try to tape it up a little bit and show you guys how it'll look on the car. Because I'm not going to mount it. Because I want to go ahead and um, paint it. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. Alright, let's use the tape. Kind of stuck under it, that's why you can see that. But this is just temporary. It's not going to be... Perfect, but this is how it kind of fits. Pretty good, I think. Looks pretty dope. Will look better, a lot better color match, but yeah, this is a three-piece one, three-piece wing from ATLP. So if you have a OEM Type S, they will cover up. So if you have any like glue adhesive under it from the old lip, it'll cover right up just in case you know you guys are wondering. Side view. Try to get a rear view. I think it looks pretty damn cool. Hopefully, maybe I'll get this painted in this video with the HIC ones, because I was just waiting on this. Scuff it, spray it. Scuff it, primer, spray it, and uh, let's clear it. And that's about it. Get that done. I might clear my wood trunk, we'll see. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think it's very nice. Even the black looks good, but once it's color match, I'm a sucker for color match. You know me by now. This video, working on a few lips, just showing you. So this is how easy it looks before. I go ahead and sand it, show off some of the imperfections that I do got to fix along the way. Little pivots, deep scratches, stuff like that. Little imperfections like here and there, like right here too. I didn't mark. And then, yeah, that's how I go about it. So we've got the 0406 uh, rear race spec lip and front lip. This is for my buddy, uh, Chris. He's seen in the video. He's been working on his car quite a bit. It's that green one with the shark. Uh, we did the shark mouth grill. We did the halo. We installed the carbon fiber duck bill. Uh, yeah, we did a lot of stuff. So we'll go ahead and get this ready for him now. Because uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint this for him. But yeah, so, so far, uh, checking out this one, usually I'll go look, circle any imperfections, like right here, here, get a sharpie, maybe I'm just circle them. But yeah, uh, just showing you right now, uh, I'm just going to do that, sand it, I'll show you when it's primed, and then paint it, I'm not going to go through the whole work, because there's so much paint stuff on my channel, I don't want to keep doing it unless you guys ask for it, but yeah, go ahead and show you guys once it's all primed up. Alright, this is lip number two. This one I did like a lot more mondo everywhere. So this one's drying. Go ahead and hop back on this guy. And this one should be at least ready to be primer today. This one, hopefully I'll get this primer today. And luckily if I get everything good tomorrow I'll be able to paint it hopefully if it's not too hot. But yep, so far so good. Alright, so I'm kind of like stage two. Right now, I sanded everything that I can sand off and then remarked some big areas. Kind of hard to see. 
Okay, I'll get out of this. Some spots like this more indent that I don't have to put bondo. So it's not too bad. It's here, some there. Just do it out here. I went ahead and uh, marked it. Go ahead and place some bondo. Let it dry. And then this one should hopefully, if I get it done today, be primered up and this will be pushed out. And then I'll be able to work on this one. This one's gonna be a little bit more work. Um, but hopefully it's not too bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and um, yeah, try to finish this one off and get it primed up. All right, here is the loop. You, or I try to do as like very thin bondo as possible. That way it stands most of it off and just leaves like just where it is. Usually after I sand it, I can't even tell where I even put the bondo at unless it's like a little tiny speckle of bondo, then that's where I know where the hole was. But yeah, here is the, here it is. So that one was the old one. On the here, the hair just flip was not that bad at all. Very minimum. On the here and there. That one I fucking didn't even know. I left a big old goop. That's gonna be fun. But yeah, here is this part. Next to sand, and then like I said, primer. Alright, it's all primered up. You can't see really anywhere where the bondo was at all. It's a lot smoother now. So this is, I'd say, a good job. Even uh, got a little bit of my parts primed up. But I might paint these actually tomorrow. Here's some of the stuff. So yeah, coming out so good so far. You guys updated. I got that done. Now I gotta get this rear lip done. There's gonna be a pain in the ass, but we'll get it done. All right, next day, how it came out. Can't really any bondo at all so this one's basically done I'm gonna go ahead and start on this one today since it's early went ahead and gonna start painting a few of my parts so I got my HIC visor I'm painting my new um, uh, ATL P3 piece chunk lip um, getting painted as well and then the little stands for the HIC visors and then also I'm clear coat my um clear coat my floor trunk because it's more of a, like a not it's not shiny but I want to make it shiny so I'm gonna go ahead and clear coat it. Alright so I'll apply the first layer of clear coat. It's hard to uh hear me it's because I have a mask on. Yeah so here is the first layer. Origins out, kind of pretty, pretty damn nice. Very, very nice. Even a clear coat on the wood looks pretty dope. All right, see you guys up there once I finish. Everything is seems nice and dry now. Go ahead and um, see, so yeah, this is the floor that I did. So it's nice and clear coat. It's a little bit more shinier. If you guys don't know, this is for my trunk. Um, let me grab this guy. This is the main trunk piece. Looks so nice. My HIC visors. We'll go ahead and put these guys on now since it's already been dry already. And as you guys don't know, I did all this with um, uh, Home Depot air compressor. Uh, as you see, as they were wondering, and just the like Harbor Freight, um, I think they're like 75 or $80 guns. I bought two of them, one for base, one for clear. And this one she's better, it's not the cheap $20 one, it's the $80 one, so it's a little bit better quality, I, I believe. But yeah, just so you guys are wondering, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all those parts on, and I'll be right back. Quick mock-up, not 
sucked on yet, but oh my god, it looks so good. Dude. Just this piece alone. So huge. And camera. Alright, the three piece part is now on. Looks so good. I'm gonna try to fix that a little bit. It looks so damn nice. Oof. Now it's time to put the HIC ones on. Alright, here it is. Nice and on. Ooh, looks so good. Alright, this lip is now done and primed up. Looks way better than before. Got a lot of pinholes and I got most of it out, so that's good. He's not even going to use this, so he's already selling this one. This one would only want to going to keep for his car because he's doing something very cool. I'll probably show you guys in another video once it comes in, most likely. But yeah, so this one's for sale at the moment. I'll make sure you read the tax right now if it's sold or not. But anyways, yeah, so this is um, the 04 to 06 A spec base flip. Alright, well, this one I got ready. This one's already uh, sold. So, the good way for the guy to pick it up. So this is all going to be gone. So you won't see me painting or installing this one. This one's going to get painted this weekend. So I'm just waiting for the weekend. Now I can wake up early. Knock this guy out real quick. But yep, this one um, will be sold right now. Hey, you know it's crazy. When a bitch die, like, you ain't gonna never <coughs> see them again. Don't need time, time waiting on nobody. Three, five, I'm rolling and get my lungs right. They seem like the gunfights, fun life. Ain't no love like all these bitches wanna fuck right. Don't need time, time waiting on nobody. Three, five, I'm rolling and get my lungs right. They seem like the gunfights, fun life. Ain't no love like all these bitches wanna fuck right. I'm a Zeke guy, thought real niggas never die. Gotta sleep tight, cause people ain't waking up now. I know my nigga made it heaven, I know it. Wish I could call the phone and tell him how it's going. And this block look good with every outfit. I wanna put my nigga 